8th Annual National Youth Festival convened by Open Space Center alongside Uganda Youth Network. Today we wanted to put the focus on the women and uh, talk about the challenges that they go through but also give them a platform to come and speak up and tell the world what is happening, especially those who are leaders who are taking things in their own hands and doing all the great things. We've had a lot of new young people and young youth organizations coming on board. We've had a lot of innovations shared around. We've also been in position to see the theme has been followed in the first place and the objectives have been met. I have loved the festival, especially because this was the first festival that had a women's village. I interacted with a few people who were in our village at the Femford village and they were excited. There were also those who were excited because they had an opportunity to have an intimate discussion with their US ambassador. Normally when she is at events, She's opening, she's closing, she's giving a keynote. There's so many people around her. But then the equipped circles were small circles of about 15 to 20 people having conversations over an hour. So let's start from here. Sebo, Amanyako, where you come from, what you do. We have learned a lot. We went to the refugees' tent. We've seen the smart girls, girls with tools. Kafero Foundation was here. So the partnerships and collaborations that have been uh, gotten through the festival are uh, awesome. Also, the marathon was nice. I saw a lot of women exhibitors, lots of women influencers here. So I was very inspired as a, a young woman also who has her own business and is trying to dominate the cosmetic space. There were so many more, more discussions happening in a different attempts around items. We're having discussions on different topics, which was very, very exciting because the last year that was really limited. It was about uh, four times which we're having those discussions. We have learned to promote fish in our communities and to be an example in the communities and to work hard that we see our communities are ever on top. We have been organizing debates at primary levels, secondary levels, and as well at university levels to be able to empower leaders who can be able to debate, who can be able to come out with policies. These are people who are going to become members of parliament. When we send them to parliament, are they going to know how to present our issues in parliament? The only best thing you could get out of Babaluku is the impactful designs on how to take our generation forward. Because creativity, they say, art imitates life. To the kind of sing bright, always just me dreaming. <laughs> This festival has helped very many people get to know their worth, what they can do and how they can better who they are. So I urge all of you within whatever field you're working in uh, to redouble your efforts in protecting and empowering Uganda's women and girls. This will be key to the country's future prosperity. And I just want everyone to know that the U.S. government is committed to, to partnering with you in these efforts. We can all make a difference in every young girl's life in Uganda starting today. Being part of this festival has really, really inspired me and has given me that courage. You know that if other festivals are planned, it would really be a good place for youth to come and converge and learn from it. To all those women who missed out on this year's Annual National Youth Festival, uh, we are bringing the festival to you through community debates, through community dialogues. We have programs in Northern Uganda where we work in Gulu University. Uh, others can tune in to TV. We've been live on uh, Urban TV. So you can also tune in. We shall have some bites where we shall review the event. So yeah, you can't miss out.
We are grateful to the following partners for their support and contribution. The National Endowment for Democracy, Action Age Uganda, Center for Policy Analysis, Westminster Foundation for Democracy, Uganda National NGO Forum, BSI, Urban TV, Pearl FM, and Kapara Foundation.